Just over 2,000 hands into this challenge. Slightly higher stakes than we have seen before. Yeah, man. It's uh, two of online PLO's goats really going after it. You know, I, I remember watching some of Phil's training videos for Run It Once, like back in 2016, 17, and you would always see Action Freak in the mix uh, playing like the 10, 20, 6 max on stars that they used to grind together. And it's a. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to have them both battling out and putting on a show for us here as well. Here on F It Fridays in the Galfon Challenge. Seven of spades on the river, Phil. Phil says F It. Pot. How will Action Freak respond? In the tank. Man, I've given up, like, trying to, you know. Effort Friday working out for Phil with the single seven in his hand. Trying to guess what Action Freak's calling range is there. Action Freak saying effort AF. Makes the call without even a seven. And we have got a big pot in action here. I think this is a four bet alert, my babies. Get the horn out. There we go. Brand new and improved four bet horn for this next challenge. I don't know if you can tell, but the horn has had an upgrade. That's it. Quite the upgrade there, Jay. It must have cost yep. quite a bit of money. It really did. I, I invested, you know, Phil puts, uh, invested a lot in me for having me as part of the first challenge. And now I'm investing that back in him. 16,000 in the middle. Phil pots it. There's I'll a raise it. from Action Freak. It looks like we are going to see you at the river. Aces for Phil. Set of eights for wow. Action Freak. Running clubs. Phil gets there. Wow. Machi, Machi 80,000 in the middle. I've been uh, streaming six to seven days a week. However, I have been cooking a lot more obviously like most people yeah and i find that cooking is a lot like sex go on it's easy it's really not difficult to do it well the hard part is getting things to finish at the same time <laughs> that's the only thing i struggle with is that like the potatoes are done like an hour before the rest of it Oh, man. And then the potatoes are getting cold and bored for a while while they wait for the chicken to finish. And that's the only part I struggle. And then, of course, cleanup is the real ball egg. Pot size bet from Action Freak on table number one. Oh, and that has a pot size raise from Phil Galfond. Phil with a not pot size bet left behind. Yeah, so Phil basically saying it's got Jack 10 with a redraw. So maybe he's picked up diamonds on the turn. Maybe he's got like King Jack 10 or Jack 10 with two pair and diamonds. I think they're a bit too deep to. Oh, it's going to go in the middle. There it is. It isn't. There's the Jack 10, no diamonds. And they're going to chop it up. Oh, it's Action Freak that had the redraw. Saw um, Phil retweet Action Freak's graph the other day. Up until 2018, one of the sickest, sickest I graphs mean, I've ever seen. The people who are asking about this lead for Phil deficit for Action Freak, did you not watch the first Galfon challenge? <laughs> like, we're, we're 300k is not a thing it's not a big deal like it's nice it's a good spot to be in if you're fit but phil is down nine hundred thousand and came back to win like it happens everyone talks about it i don't even know how this is even a discussion right now oh is this a big deal no <laughs> really interesting board on the table friday six is on the board 
missed the action Ooh. pre-flops. I don't know if it was a, a three-bet pot whose range this favors. Pot and pot. Table F it and table Friday. Action on. Action. In position in both spots. Both spots on the river. Both spots with potential flushes and paired boards. Although wow. three sixes is a little different than a paired board, isn't it? King's good for action freak. Not fair. If it's a 100k pot, I don't want it to be a chop pot. <laughs> Someone has to win it. I've run in like insanely above EV in my aces versus aces spots really? lifetime. Yeah, I even not yesterday, day before, I think I scooped like five aces versus aces spots. I played like I don't think I've ever aces. won an aces versus aces pot, and I've definitely lost a few. That's part of the reason I don't play PLO because I always like get into these spots where I'm like, okay, I'm yeah, I'm not playing this anymore. <laughs> no, definitely, uh, yeah, up lifetime aces versus aces. Stapes four bet horn says I've won ace king off versus ace king suited several times. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> With many, I mean three times. Eighteen oh, six in the middle. Any checks to fill in position? You did it as well. I'm not the only one. Thank God for that. Just what? Action you just called Action Freak, Vinny. Oh, I said I did it. Uh, <laughs> That's I, awesome. I, I did it twice, and I don't think anyone called me out on it. So thanks for that. Oh, me out. man. That's embarrassing, but also totally understandable after calling whatever I did. I 13,000 hands of the last challenge. Action Freak <laughs> calls the pot size river bet from Phil. Phil shows the full house. Action Freak sitting out. Maybe time for the first break of the day. That is going to put Phil pretty much back to even for the day. Matthias, 19, excuse me, 1794 asks, is there a stop loss in this challenge? No, there is not. Usual pullout rules apply. If you want to pull out, there is a penalty. I feel like only you can get away with the stuff that you uh, that you insinuate. I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Joe. <laughs> this would be insane if they were six tabling. It'd be over in like two days. Well, actually, no, not two days. Give it a week. Uh, six tabling for six hours. Math isn't my strong point. Why do you say math instead of maths? Is that are you just translating for me? Yeah. <laughs> and Phil's put in a big raise here on table F it. He says F it on F it Friday. Pot size raise. Well, action freak, F it back. He does and takes down another pot. I'm a, I'm actually a very good wingman, but also uh, I got to tell you, my girlfriend is an incredible wingman. I bet I bet you are really good. I imagine you're just like, hey, have you uh, have you met my friend Henry? Just like throw me in the deep end. I do the exact right amount of throwing you in the deep end without making it cringe. Looking forward to it. Where are we going? I Omnia. A, I used to have a friend that would thought he was a good wingman and he would just awkwardly introduce two <laughs> people and then walk away. And then the both of us would be like, we don't want to talk to each other, do we? And no. <laughs> All right. Big bet, big bet here, at Table Friday. Big pot here, at Table Friday. We've got almost 13,000 out there. Oh, All of the flop draws have whiffed. Oh, Phil and says pot. Yes, he does. Phil down 43,000 on the day.
And Action Freak looks him up this time, isn't right, fills straight, arrives on the river. Three bat pot, table Friday. He did, uh, he did adapt eventually. To adapt he started Penny. doing it less frequently too, I would say. He started doing it to induce. I remember a couple yeah. of spots where he would use the sizing and then put Venny in the bin. I was like, Phil, yes, mate. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, and that's, you know, that's why you play 25,000 hands. That's why you play 15,000 hands. You know, we all have that idea when we're playing our little short games of poker, right? Like, oh, I'm going to wait. Wait till I get in this situation again and I have it. Then I'm really going to get them. And then you don't play enough hands for that ever to come up. Yeah, I feel like um, there have been a, a few things that I've been doing. And it's just rustiness. Like I've been in America for two months, but there have been a few things um, seen as leaks in my game where I keep just getting put in the bin a lot in certain spots. It's the beautiful thing about poker, though. Speaking of getting put in the bin. Go on. Chicago. Yes. Uh, what What were your parting words? Sorry? What were your parting words as you left Chicago? Uh, there, there actually weren't any. It was just putting all my stuff in a suitcase and ordering an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 but what were the actual last words exchanged between you two? There we go. Finally, a big pot goes Phil's. I, I must say, like, for a poker player, I, I did okay, right? My... There's no way you guys didn't fight every second of every day, though. How do you know that? <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo, my friend. You're an absolute legend, mate. Speaking of legends, the legend Phil Galfon betting full pot on table. F it. F it says AF. Raise on this Jack 10 5 2 diamond board. How will our hero, Phil Galfon, respond? Yeah, it's one of those boards where stacks are going to go flying in. And it does, and it's aces versus the set of tens. Running diamond, no help to fill. And that is the first all-in pot we've seen go Action Freak's way. Now sitting on a stack of over 100,000 euros. That's uh, really interesting getting from Phil. Love to see a replay on that one, if we could, Nick. I think we can accommodate that. Oh, over on Friday as well. 27k in the middle. Four spades on board. And Phil says, rest, please, dealer. I think he can do this with queen high spades. Specifically, queen seven. All in the call for action freak. Action, don't call me Venny, freak. Does make Action freak call. does call. And Phil's got the queen high flush. Wow. Action freak with the ace of spades blocker. That is four bets. You guys see it. I see it. We all see it. Four bet Friday. F it Friday. 16,000 in the middle. Pre flop. Queen five. Deuce two hearts. F it Friday in full effect on table Friday. Who will be the one, the first one to F it post flop? Action on Phil, who... Oh, spicy bet, sizing. Yeah, bets a third of the pot. Like, aces with nut hearts? And a queen, maybe? Optimistic. What about... Oh, boy. 
Another turn. Action Freak with less than a pot size bet left behind. Will Phil put him in for the rest? There's a spicy turn card. Goes check, check. Eight of spades on the river. Action Freak, last chance for aggression. Queen seven. Checks it. Action Freak's way for one. For one. There's a pretty clean run out for aces. This is one of the least aggro four-bat pots we've seen throughout the course of all of these challenges. Four-bat pots make me horny. <laughs> Hearts did brick. Jack's good? Jack's good. Well, I think we also want to be four-batting ace, Jack, Jack, five, just to Balance our four bet range as well, right? Okay, but it's a balanced four bet, not a value four bet. Yeah, I mean, we've got a nut suit, we've got connectivity around the ace and the jack and the ace and the five, so we've got decent board coverage as well. Um, I think it's fine. Honestly, I, I don't think it's like that loose of a, of a four bet, especially in heads up, maybe in like six max environment, it, it would be considered. Because it was single suited, but so if you're four betting ace jack jack five, then you're four betting like ace queen queen whatever and ace king king whatever too. Yeah, I mean even in six max, like I'm getting ace king king five and like ace king king five. That suit. makes sense to me. I mean that makes sense. It's just I so so what is uh are you four betting ace ten ten five? Again, <laughs> at a certain frequency, yes. Right. Because you need to be balanced. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't, like, expect every four-bet pot, you know, for someone to, or the four-better to show up with aces, because, yeah. Yeah, no, you can, actually. That's the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> <laughs> but a pot size bet on table, F it. I mean, look, four-betting ace, jack, jack, five is definitely allowed on F it Fridays. I mean, that's exactly the kind of effing it I'm talking about. All about the effort Fridays. Are you you you're not here tomorrow for uh, Chat Pro Saturdays. Chat Pro Saturday is probably not going to be in Aye my yeah. schedule for the next little while. Ah, yeah. Uh, they're getting paid. Ronnie the Cat says, Stapes, mate, you having a clue about poker, mate? Thank you for your comment. How do you get there? What will he do in position? On table F it. Yeah, Phil actually boated up with his uh, danglers to his aces. Let's see how his danglers do. On table F it. Very deep stack table. Phil's pot size riverback gets called by the king high flush. Scrimere says Americans put their state, everyone else puts their country. That would probably be because most of the countries are smaller than almost every U.S. state. Ah, Robert Pankowski from my couch. Thank you for your question. Nice. Monotone board. Five, seven, eight, nine, all clubs. Can we see it? Can we see it? Can we see a straight flush? Can we do it? The 4-6, which apparently people have all the time against the Jack-10. Huh? Pot size bet from Phil.
freak calls. 25K pot. Board pairs. Action checks AF. Phil in position. What a board, says Mega Manny. As Phil pots it. A little pottage for the cottage. Action Freak, all in to call. Action Freak does call, and Phil has got it. Never been to LA. I've heard that it takes like an hour to drive anywhere. It, it can. At LA, you spend a lot of time in the car. That's why visiting LA is not that fun. Yeah. Because you can only do one. Right? You go to New York City and you're like, we went to the Met and then we went to the Empire State Building and then we saw Jimmy Fallon and then we went to like, then we went to Coyote Ugly. <laughs> and in LA, you're like, you can do one of those things in a yeah, day. I mean, it's pretty much the same in London. Like London's like, oh, yeah, let's go to the Tate. Takes you about a week to get there and back. It does take a long time to get around London. Yeah. Action Freak betting pot on both tables, Effort and Friday, here on Effort Fridays. Phil makes the call. He's going to win a five figure pot over on Effort. What about Friday? Oh, sick, eh? More importantly, 27K in the middle over on Friday. It's effort Friday. Action Freak checks to fill in position. He gets a free check back if he wants. Action Freak had been the aggressor up until this point. And ball changing river card. And Phil does check it back. And he decides to lead at this. Well, he was the three better, right? That makes sense. Hello. <laughs> Not a pot size. Continue. Jack on the turn. And another small bat from Phil. That's a funky sizing. The action Freak does call. What was that, like 10, 12% pot? It was tiny. And there, now it's the full pot bet. Not a line we see very often from any of the folks we've seen in the challenge thus far, especially not Phil. Phil mixing it up. Boom. Action Freak makes the call, and Phil's rivered the boat three jacks before that. And another yay, Phil, LFG, PG. Uh, the guy, the main character also plays plays blackjack in the movie, but most of the gambling scenes are, are poker scenes. Oh, man, that tilts me so much. When people ask me, do you count cards? cards. Yeah. Yeah, so wow. my main looks like we're having another break here. I no, think. I think Action Freak. Is that it? G yeah, he said GG. Oh, did we call it a day? We talked over the end of the match. Sorry, guys. I thought we were going for at least wow. another hour today.